I want to welcome you to the podcast of the Prodigal Son. You know, I, we do this podcast every day during the week, six days a week, really, for a reason. I do this podcast to to help people see and understand that that God's a good God. He's out to help them, out to strengthen them, out to give them victory through His truths, through the truths that He has written down for us. You know, so many people in this world lived the way I lived for a lot of years. I lived my entire adult life thinking God was mad at me, thinking that he was some unpleasable, unpleasable person that 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 I could have never pleased, and it pushed me away from God. And that is my earnest desire today is to to see people set free from that religion, that craziness that that somewhere down the line that that religion has sown something like that into their hearts. I've got a picture and I put it on the on my video on on YouTube quite often. And it's a picture of a, of a uh, at the top of it is an old man sitting on his throne, just looking menacing and mean. And and at the bottom of it, it's it's a picture of a man bent over with his arms stretched out wide, waiting on his child to run to him. Now the top picture is how a lot of people see God as a just a, just an unpleasable person that just cannot be pleased. But the bottom is a picture of Him, a loving Father that wants more than anything and that to be part of our lives, to, to comfort us and to love us and to care for us. Oh, and I thank God that I have come to those conclusions, those truths through His Word. Now, I want to ask you a favor today. Share these podcasts on your social media. Share these podcasts so others can see and understand what God is doing out here in the world and that his word is true above all opinion. What what that he will do for me and you, he'll do for them. And if you'll share these podcasts on your social media, there'll be others set free through those truths. I thank God for people that are being set free through the truths that are being spoken on this podcast. And it's and it's all because we want to give God's word away. Give it away, free of charge to anybody to listen. So help us do that. Share these podcasts on your social media. Now, I've got a, I've got a, a special thank you. I want to thank all the partners of this ministry. Partners, thank you for all that you do sowing into this ministry, helping us do what God has commissioned us to do, and that is to give His Word away free of charge, to teach people just how good He is. And partners, I pray Mark 10, 29, and 30 over you today, a hundredfold return on everything that you sow into this ministry. Thank you. Thank you. Share these podcasts. Like I say, share these podcasts so others can be set free today. My prayers for you come out of Paul's prayers for the Ephesians. You know, Paul desired for the Ephesians to, to, to have their eyes open to God's love and His mercy and His grace and His goodness and have, you know, have spiritual wisdom to know that God was for them. That's my desire for the world that we live in today, that they come to understand His love, His mercy, His grace, and His goodness. And it thrills me to see people find that out. Ephesians 1.15 says, Ever since I first heard of your strong faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for God's people everywhere, I've not stopped thanking God for you. I pray for you constantly, asking God, the glorious Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, to give you spiritual wisdom and insight so that you might grow in your knowledge of God. I pray that your hearts will be flooded with light so that you can understand the confident hope He has given to those He called, His holy people, who are His rich and glorious inheritance. I also pray that you will understand the incredible greatness of God's power for us who believe Him. This is the same mighty power that raised Christ from the dead and seated Him in the place of honor at God's right hand in the heavenly realms. Now He is far above any ruler or authority or power or leader or anything else, not only in this world, but also in the world to come. God has put all things under the authority of Christ and has made Him head over all things for the benefit of the church, and the church is his body. It is made full and complete by Christ, who fills all things everywhere 
with himself. Ephesians 1.14 says, When I think of all this, I fall to my knees and pray to the Father, the Creator of everything in heaven and on earth. I pray that from His glorious unlimited resources, He will empower you with inner strength through His Spirit. Then Christ will make His home in your hearts as you trust in Him. Your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong. And may you have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, and how deep His love is. May you experience the love of Christ, though it is too great to understand fully. Then you will be made complete with all the fullness of life and power that comes from God. Now all glory to God who is able through his mighty power at work within us to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. Glory to him in the church and in Christ Jesus through all generations forever and ever. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. I thank God that he opened my eyes to that love. And I, that is my earnest prayer for every person that walks the face of this earth, that they come to know and understand how much God loves them. Let's see what God's Word has to say today. Father, I thank you and I praise you, God, for your Word. Guide me. Use me for your honor and your glory. Help me be the light and the vessel that you can shine through, that you can speak through today. Lord, I praise you for all that you're doing in my life and the people's lives that are listening to this podcast. Lord, I pray that you touch their hearts and their lives today. Lift them up, strengthen them, and I'll forever give you all the praise and glory for it all. In Jesus' holy name I pray. Amen. You know, yesterday we talked about Daniel, and the Lord's led me to back up a couple of chapters, three chapters to be exact, and and give you another example of someone that knew in their heart, knew in their heart that that God had their back, and that's Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. These three refuse to bow to anybody but God, and you have got to be certain, now to be certain to do what these three done. They they refused to bow. There was a decree made, and Nebuchadnezzar made a decree that when, when the music played, everybody had to bow to his image. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego refused to do that. Let me let me let me uh, read to you what they decided that they were going to do regardless of what the king said, regardless of what what was was going to happen to them. This is Daniel, the third chapter in the 16th verse. It says, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. If it be so, our God... If it, if it be so, our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from this burning, fiery furnace, and he will deliver us out of thy hand, O king. But if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Now, I give you this, this example for a reason. For a reason, we we live in a day and a time that that it seems like that that Christian Christianity Christians the church catches catches it from all sides, and and you see a lot of people giving in to pressure, and and uh, just just worldly pressure, carnal pressure, but I I wanted to. To, to use these three as an example of, of three people that knew in their heart who they were. He's, what did we start out this week talking about? As a man thinks of his, in his heart, so is he. These men knew without a shadow of a doubt that God was for them. They didn't just know it uh, mentally or in their carnal mind, but they knew it in their heart. They said, look, we don't care what happens. We're not bowing to anybody, anybody but God himself, the one that we serve. And when they done that, they were literally 
literally taken hold of and bound, bound in their clothes. The, the furnace was, was heated seven times hotter than it usually was heated. And, and they were pitched in, pitched into that furnace, and the ones that threw them in there died from the heat. Yet the king looked in there and saw four men. There was three thrown in, but yet four was in the furnace. Read the third chapter of Daniel. Read what God done. Now, this is what happens when people decide, when they know in their heart, when they know in their heart who they are, when they decide without a shadow of a doubt, I know who I am and I know what God has said, and I'm going to follow him come hell or high water. This is what I'm going to do. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego done that. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego decided without a shadow of a doubt that they were going to follow God. They were going to serve him and nobody else. They were going to do, they refused to bow. Why? Because they, as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. They knew in their heart that they were doing what they were supposed to do. They were, they knew in their heart that where they stood with him, with God. Do you, I'm going to ask you today, do you know where you stand with him? Do you, do you think that, that, that God would back you up? If, if push comes to shove, if you stepped out on your faith, I'm here to proclaim to you that they ain't nothing in this world that he would delight in doing any more than to back you up if, if, when you have faith in him and step out on your faith. Step out on your faith. I seen it happen the other day at the jail. Now, this, ain't, this is something that has happened multiple times in that jail. I have literally saw it happen multiple times, but the other day I was I was uh, in there and it got really loud. And I said this the other you know the other day on the podcast, but it got really loud and I was having to scream, just not scream, but really talk loud, a strange voice. You 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 uh, yell like that for you know. 30, 45 minutes, and you're just going to strain your voice. And, and it just welled up in me. And I spoke to that disruptive spirit and, and took authority over it in front of the whole table. <laughs> you know, I didn't do it just where I could hear it, but I'd done it where these, these men could hear it. I'd done it in faith. I stood out, stepped out on faith that God was going to quieten that place down. And it's just like taking a stereo knob and turning the volume down. I, that's 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 the second or third time I've I've saw that happen. And I told them, men, I said, this is exactly what will happen when you decide in your heart that you believe God above all opinion. You know, the Bible talks about us having authority, having authority in Jesus' name. And when we take authority and step out by faith and, and speak to our mountain, speak to the, those mountains that we, you know, we talk about in Mark eleven twenty three 23 so much, speak to the problem. That noise was a problem to me. And God handled it. He handled it. Why? Because I spoke in faith, faith in Him. And I took authority over that disruptive spirit. And it ain't nothing but the devil trying to disrupt the, the studying where these people couldn't understand, couldn't hear what I was saying. And I saw it happen just as sure, just as sure as I'm sitting on this stool recording this podcast. And it, I mean, just winds me up to be able to tell you about it. Because when God does something like that, he gets the glory out of it. He gets the glory because I told him, I said, it ain't got nothing to do with me. It's the authority that I was speaking in. It was the authority of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And, and I come against that, that foul spirit. And that thing hushed. It hushed. It tried to, it tried to uh, uh, raise its head up again two or three times after that, but it'd go right back down. I mean, I'm serious. It just, it, and that things like that happen when you know in your heart. As a man thinks in his heart, so is he. As a man thinks in his heart, he's got authority over disruptive things in his life. Guess what? He does have authority. 
David, when he come out on that battlefield, what happened? He took authority over that uncircumcised Philistine. Why? Because he knew where he stood. He knew in his heart. He thought in his heart who he was. As a man thinks in his heart, so is he. I want you to grasp this. I want you to understand this. I want you to know that God will back you up come hell or high water if you're standing on him, if you're believing in him, if you got faith in him, he'll do it. I promise you that. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego stood before a king, said, whatever you do, we ain't bowing. Our God, let me read it again. He said, our God will deliver us. The, if it be so, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from this burning fiery furnace, and he will deliver us out of thy hand, O king. In other words, pitch us in there, big boy. Watch God do what he's going to do. And guess what he done? They come out of there without even the smell of smoke on them. Oh, that, that makes goosebumps jump all, all jump up all of them over me. Because I say that a lot. I've been through hell in a wicker. I rode through hell in a wicker basket and come out on the other side without even the smell of smoke on me. Why? Because I have come to the conclusion of I know who I am in Christ Jesus. And I think in my heart that, bless God, he's going to take care of me. He's going to handle the things that come against me. And he does every time. I know it without a shadow of a doubt. And I pray today that you know it. I pray today that you come to understand that, that God's for you, not against you. That he's standing in the gap for you, helping you and, and strengthening you, lifting you up through the truths that he has written down for you to believe. Believe that today. Come to a place in your life that, that, that hey, they ain't nothing can make you stumble. They ain't nothing can make you fall. They ain't nothing can scare you into giving up on your quest to live for him. I promise you. I promise you. If there's any three men in the Bible that had a reason, a carnal reason to give up and quit, it was Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And they said, no, sir, we will not bow. Whatever you do to us, we will not bow. Our God will deliver us from this burning, fiery furnace. And that's what he done. That's what he done, and that's what he wants us to see and understand. If we'll stand on the faith that we have in him, faith in him, and step out on that faith and say, I'm going to, I'm going to live my life believing what God's Word says because His Word is true above any other thing that I see, feel, hear, whatever. God's Word is true. Do you believe that today? Do you believe God's Word is true? Do you know and understand that He's for you, not against you? I pray you do today. If you're not born again today, let me ask you a question. Do you want to be? Do you want to have the faith that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego had? Do you want to draw close to him and have the relationship that, that he so desperately wants to have with you? That strong relationship that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego stood on when they defied that king. Do you want that relationship with him? I promise you, you can. You can have it. You can be strong in him. If you're not, if you are born again and you don't have, have that strong relationship, get in his word and start believing what he says to you, for you, and about you. Because I promise you, if you'll have faith in him, he'll back up what you're standing on. You know, if you're lost today, if, if God don't, if God is not your heavenly father, if Jesus Christ is not your Lord and Savior, make him your Lord and Savior today. It's easy. Romans 10 and, 10 and 9 said, If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, it says, Thou shalt be saved. It says, For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. That's all it takes to be born again. That's all it takes to give your heart and your life to Jesus Christ and let him do something with it. Because I promise you, he can and he will. He wants to. But it's up to you. 
It's up to me to allow him to. I had to give him permission to come into my heart and my life years ago. I'm so glad I did. Make Jesus Christ Lord of your life today. Get in his word and start believing what his word says to you, for you, and about you. And watch him change your life forever. Hey, if you're listening to this podcast, go to our website. Get in touch with us. It's the dash prodigalson.com. I want to hear from you. I want to hear what God is doing in your life. I want to hear what you need him to do in your life. Do you have a prayer request? Send it to me. Let, let me let me hear what you need from God cuz we want to agree with you. We want to agree with you and stand in agreement with you over what God's word says about your prayer request. I want to send you scriptures that you and I both can agree on that God's going to answer your prayer. Contact us. Get in touch, contact with us. It's the dash prodigalson.com. Now, I want to take just a minute and thank all the partners. Partners, thank you for all that you do sowing into this ministry, helping us do what God has commissioned us to do, and that is to give His Word away free of charge all over this world, all over this world to give it away for others to be set free, like you and I have been set free. Thank you. Thank you for all that you do sowing into this ministry. I pray Mark 10, 29, and 30 over you today. A hundredfold return on everything that you sow into God's kingdom. Hey, if you're not a partner, pray about becoming a partner. Pray about what God would have you to do to sow into his kingdom today. Go to our website. Get in touch with us. It's the-prodigalson.com.